are lots of things I like about the circus, but I think I like the clowns the very best of all. <laughs> they do the silliest things. I made up a song about the clowns, and if you do what it says, you can be a clown too. So get ready to be funny, because here we go. Make your eyes roll around and around. Make your elbows flap up and down. Stick both knees out and walk all about. What a clown, what a clown, what a clown. Rub your hand around the top of your head. Or make your foot go in circles instead. While you're doing all that, give your tummy a pat. What a clown, what a clown, what a clown. Make your nose twitch like you really got an itch. Make your eyes go open and shut. Now make a face like someone from outer space. Do you look silly or what? When you hop all around like a frog. And wag your tail like a happy little dog. And moo like a cat. Boy, you sure make me laugh. What a clown, what a clown, what a clown. <laughs> After the clowns came a family of flying acrobats. Only they were called aerialists. Because <laughs> they flew through the air. And guess what? There was a little girl aerialist too. And she was the same age as me. I wondered what it would be like to be her. So I had one of my imaginary adventures. And guess what again? I'm gonna tell it to you right now. As soon as I got to my imaginary circus, I went straight to where the big safety net was. And sure enough, the little girl aerialist was there, getting ready to practice with her dad. Hi, I said to the little girl. My name is Cricket. What's yours? My name is Graciela, said the little girl, and I'm going up on the flying trapeze. Would you like to watch? Sure, I said. And then Graciela climbed a long rope ladder to a platform way up high. Her dad was already swinging by his legs from the catch bar, because he was going to catch her. Then Graciela grabbed onto the fly bar with her hands and took a couple of practice swings. She swung out at the same time as her dad, and picture this. She let go of her trapeze and flew through the air. Graciela tumbled over once and twice, and then she grabbed hold of her dad's arms just in time. Hooray, I said, hooray for Graciela. And then I sang her a song I know about a girl on a flying trapeze. She flew through the air with the greatest of ease, the daring young girl on the flying trapeze. Her movements were graceful, the crowd she did please, so they all clapped and shouted for her. Hey, why don't we give Graciela a clap and shout right now? Go ahead, clap your hands. Now shout with me. Hooray, hooray, hooray. When Graciela was finished practicing, she let go of her fly bar and flew through the air again. Only this time, she landed on her back in the big safety net. That looks like fun, I said to Graciela. It is, she said. Would you like to try? You mean it, I said? Of course, said Graciela. I'll help you. So Graciela and I climbed the rope ladder up to the platform. And golly gee, was that ever high or what? Don't look down, said Graciela. Don't worry, I said. I won't. Now grab hold of the fly bar, said Graciela, and swing out in the air. I did what Graciela told me to. And guess what? It worked! Now comes the fun part, said Graciela. You mean there's more, I said? Of course, said Graciela. You want to fly, don't you? I guess so, I said. Then all you have to do, said Graciela, is let go as soon as you're over the center of the net. But just remember to keep your legs straight. So I did what Graciela told me to. And guess what? It worked again! I let go of the fly bar, as soon as I was over the center of the net, and I flew through the air. And when I landed, I bounced off the net. And then I bounced again and again. Then Graciela flew into the net too. And when we finally reached the ground, guess what? Graciela's whole family clapped for me. And then they sang me my own song. She flew through the air with the greatest of ease, the daring young girl on the flying trapeze. Her movements were graceful, the crowd she did please, so they all clapped and shouted for her. And then they all did clap and shout for me. Hooray, they all said. Hooray for Cricket, the girl on the flying trapeze. Sometimes the people in the
the circus call lions and tigers big cats. Here's a game about a special kind of cat called a copycat. If you want, you can be a copycat right now. Just say everything I say right after I say it. And be sure you say it just like I do. Here goes. The ponies gallop very fast. The elephants are slow. The piccolo plays very high. The tuba plays real low. The clowns are very funny. There's a bouncing acrobat. But now it's time to introduce the famous copycat. Remember, say it just like I do. The ponies got up very fast. The elephants are slow. The piccolo plays very high. The tuba plays real low. <laughs> the clowns are very funny. There's a bouncing acrobat. But here's what they have come to see. The famous copycat. After the famous copycat, five of the cutest little dogs came running out into the ring. They were Polly's poodles. Polly sang a song and picture this. The poodles sang too. And each one of them had a different bark. If you'll help me, I can show you just how they sounded. When I sing, oh, where, oh, where can he be? You go, rough, rough. Oh, where, oh, where has my little dog gone? Oh, where, oh, where can he be? With his floppy ears and his shaggy hair. Oh, where, oh, where can he be? That's great. Now this time, go, yip, yip. Lionel, the littlest lion, 
But Lydia, the pretty lady lion, said, No, I bet it's standing on our heads. That's it, said Ludlow, the oldest lion, standing on our heads and twirling our tails at the same time. Lancelot listened very carefully to the other lions, and then he said to himself, No problem, I can do all of those things. But when it came time to practice Oscar's new trick, guess what? It wasn't something fun like riding on an elephant or something silly like standing on your head and twirling your tail at the same time. It was something scary, like jumping through a flaming hoop of fire. And not just one hoop, but three flaming hoops in a row. I can't, I can't, I can't, said Lancelot. That's dangerous. But Oscar, the animal trainer, said, No, it isn't. I wouldn't let my valuable lions do anything dangerous. Well, this made Lionel and Lydia and Ludlow feel a whole lot better. But not poor Lancelot. When it came time to practice the new trick, all the other lions jumped through the flaming hoops with no problem. But Lancelot just shook his head and said, No way! I'm really disappointed, said little Lionel. And Lydia said, Look at Lancelot, that scaredy cat. That's it, said old Ludlow. From now on, we'll call him Lancelot the Cowardly Lion. Well, that made poor Lancelot feel even worse than ever. But he wouldn't budge. He did everything the other lions did except jump to the flaming hoops of fire. And pretty soon, all the other animals were calling him Lancelot the Cowardly Lion, too. Then one night, when everyone in the circus was asleep, a fire broke out in the monkey house. The noise of the monkeys prickled Lancelot's ears. And the smoke of the fire tickled Lancelot's nose. And all of a sudden, Lancelot woke up and roared, Fire! Fire! And then Lionel and Lydia and Ludlow woke up too. And old Ludlow began counting the monkeys, just to make sure everyone was safe. One, two, three, four monkeys, he said. That's right. No, it isn't, said the mama monkey. What about Mickey, my baby? I guess he stole the monkey house, said Ludlow. Then save him, cried the mama monkey. Please? I can't, said Ludlow. I'm too old. Then you save him, said the mama monkey to Lydia. Please? But pretty Lydia said, I can't. I might smudge my fur. Then you save him, said the mama monkey to Lionel. Please? But Lionel cried, I can't. I'm just a baby too. There was only one lion left, and that was Lancelot. But the mama monkey knew he was a cowardly lion, so she didn't even ask him. And then all of a sudden, Lancelot let out a terrific roar and said, I can save your baby. I can, I can, I can. Then he leaped over the flames and bounded into the monkey house. But guess what? Mickey wasn't there. Oh no, said Lancelot, I failed again. But just then, there was a sound like a baby crying. Lancelot rushed back outside and found little Mickey hiding behind a rock. Quick, said Lancelot, jump on my back and hold on tight. And then in less than a minute, Lancelot gave Mickey back to his mama, all safe and sound. Oh, thank you, thank you, said the mama monkey to Lancelot. You're the bravest lion in the whole world. Then Oscar the animal trainer came running and put out the fire. And at the next day's show, Lancelot jumped through the flaming hoops with all the other lions. And then guess what? He jumped through them again, by himself. And pretty soon, Lancelot was the biggest star in the whole circus. And people came from all over the world to see him. And nobody ever called him the Cowardly Lion again. The circus is coming, strike up the band. Everybody clap your hands, strike up the band. The circus is coming with merriment and mirth. And as everybody knows, it's the greatest little show on earth. Golly gee, we sure have had a great time at the circus. And you know what? We can go again real soon. So until then, I'll be talking to you.